introduce you first into our red corner, Dan Burr. Yeah, with Dan Burr under Nathan Leverton, just mixing up the techniques, bringing everything and blending it all together. We'll see if Dan Burr can do that successfully and what, represent Kettering Shoot Fighters in a positive light. So I think you the passion for fighters to uh, a beard and then shave the sides of your head. I think Netflix and the Viking show has got to be blamed for something. Wow. And his opponent, Mateus, is from Team Kaobon. And, and his opponent, monsters. into the blue corner, Mateus. I think I've called a few of Mateus' fights before, and let's see if he can bring the same thunder and lightning that he has in the past. And Mateus, uh, I think he's got um, a hell of a corner going on with him. He's got some uh, UFC veterans in his corner, and Paul Taylor. This is a guy that uh, won Fight of the Night bonuses more than one occasion. I think two or three Fight of the Night bonuses on UFC cards. And he's going to have him in his corner, and that's going to give you a lot of confidence. And come this contest is fought under A-class rules at 77 kilograms. So A-class rules with headshots on the ground. The fighter in the red corner, weighing 76.8 kilograms, fighting out of Kettering Shoot, Dan Burr. Dan Burr looking very focused, very controlled. And his opponent, the fighter in the blue corner. Weighing in at 76.5 kilograms, fighting out of Team Kagwa, Mateo. Mateus weighing in a little bit lighter than the uh, than the weight class cutoff here. Referee in charge is Mr. Paul Nichols. Dan Burr has uh, definitely got a bit of a mean mug and give him a uh, eye contact there. Oh, great Mateus opening leg kick. Quick leg kick again, he doubles up with that leg kick. Mateus. Dan Burr goes for the big right hand and lands two in quick succession, goes to the takedown. Mateus is doing Dan Burr settling into the side control there Mateus not having a whole lot to answer there Mateus is head against the cage what I want to see Mateus do is get onto his right side and try and get his right knee through so he can recover guard or try and get his back against the fence so he can try and stand up but at the moment he's a little bit stuck under the power that is uh, Dan Burr but sometimes these big guys with a bit more muscle can get gas so if Mateus can weather the storm he might be able to come back in a minute and that's a big if right now because weathering the storm in this position Dan Burr's got to be looking to pass to mount so he can do some serious damage here in these A-class rules with ground and pound. And like you said, Matty is doing the right thing right now, getting his elbow across the chin and possibly able to make some space to regain guard. It's just not working out for him. And he's, uh, he's been doing a good job of keeping his right knee high. And what that does is it makes it really hard for Dan Burr to get to mount because he's always keeping that leg up blocking him. And... Uh, if Dan Burr could get to mount, he could put a lot more power in these shots, but Mateus is doing a good job Mateus of blocking. Mateus is relaxed him. with that leg now, and it looks like it's a pretty, pretty open pass to Dan Burr if Dan Burr chooses to, to take it. And there he goes, he's like reaching oh. across. He just snakes it in there, and now he's in some... Now Mateus is in a whole world of trouble with Dan Burr on top of you, looking to hit. Mateus giving up his back, but it might not be the... He's used it well, and uh, Dan Burr didn't back manage to keep control of him. Mateus looking focused now. I think Mateus... Quite happy to be on his feet, straight back, loose controls, picking his shots Ooh, really he well. Lands that right hand coming through with a quick parry of the, the left jab and answering with the right is Mateus. Mateus look very relaxed, loading up, big Ooh. kick. But Dan landed a big right there. Yeah, and he's got some dirty boxing there with some uppercuts coming in through in quick succession. I think Mateus is pacing this out, this fight out. Maybe he's trying to take him for a long jog. And he thinks he can beat him if the, rough, if the fight goes in the second or third round. But when somebody's chasing you with those big rights. And, and again, difference in technique here. Dan Burr, very, very strong, muscular. He's throwing loop, more looping punches, not like the straights that we saw that worked so well for Anthony Peters just moments ago. He's coming through Mateus with those straights now. He's been caught by a couple of shots, but he's staying really calm. He's just rolling those shots. But he's been caught on the chin with that one. A couple pop through. You see his head pop up there. There's Dan Burr, oh, good knee there. Just to make him think twice. Mateus should be looking to, to mix it up maybe with a little takedown here so he can give himself a reprieve because he's really just getting backed into the corner and Dan Burr's throwing leather at him and heavy at that. Oh, big re overhand right from Mateus. Oh, did he get caught with something there? It's hard to see from uh, our commentator's angle, but the ref very nearly stopped it there. Mateus looked like he was covering up, but he's just trying oh, to... He he's might be able to survive this round. He's intelligently defending himself and puts in a little bit more effort. 
But I don't think that choke's going to work with the last few seconds of the round. That was a, it was an interesting round. I'm not sure. Mateus' style is he kind of looks a bit lazy on the feet and then he changes it up and uh, hits it with some really intense pace. He's got a huge mouse under his left eye there from those right hands from Dan Burr and he wobbles as he comes back into the it comes back into his corner. And uh, the ref is taking a close look at Mateus, but I'd like to see what happens in the second round because I think Dan has uh, blown his gas tank a little bit. He's leaning on his coach there. He's taking some really big breaths. And uh, Mateus actually looks the fresher, although he took a knock in the fight. He looks the fresher of the two fighters. Yep, here we I go, we're having a bit of a look in. It'd be nice to see if uh, Mateus can come out for this second round and uh, start throwing some of those big shots. And that strength advantage suddenly disappears when we're getting tired. Has Dan Burr composed himself enough? We're coming out now for the second round. Maybe a bit, a bit unfair to Dan, he doesn't look that tired now, he's mm -hmm. kind of... Mateus is looking ready as well. He's definitely done a lot of bench press in his life, has Dan Burr. As have I. And I'm sure you can throw, throw a good old punch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mateus. I think Mateus has got some legit striking when he can get it going. Some timing on it. He but needs to move off on the angles after he's done with his done with his combination there, which he doesn't do. And Dan Burr is able to capitalize again, getting on top. I think Mateus has got to be wary of that ground and pound. He's lifted that right leg up because he knew that he got caught him out in the first round. And now uh, he's straightened it out again. He's not. He's trying he's to not push off the cage, but he's not quite close enough. Got to be consistent in that defense there, Mateus. I'd like to see him trying to slide that right leg through to recover guard. I really think there's uh, there's space there. Dan's side control is not. He's not got that much pressure on him. And uh, when he opens up space for that knee, I'd like to see Mateus getting on his right side, sliding his right leg through, and. Uh, changing the, the course of this fight. Oh, Mateus trying to trap that leg so he can uh, control him in half guard, but he's given up on it. He's staying safe, though. Dan's uh, unwilling to kind of throw power into these shots. I think he's worried that Mateus will be used the opportunity to escape, or Quick maybe he's looking for Kimura. Almost locked up the Americana there, forcing the, the leg down. There, Mateus is turning into him. If he can shrimp his hips away a bit, he could make some space to get regain half guard or even guard. Pace is notably slowed down here on the ground for Dan Burr. Dan Burr not necessarily looking to, to transfer over into the mounted position at the moment, but he fires a couple knees through. And on that liver side of Mateus, this could be a real difference here right now. Mateus is a, you know, from this fight, he's a kind of very composed, methodical fighter. And Dan is a bit more uh, feeble and aggressive, but the aggressive approach seems to be winning out at the moment. Yeah, when you're sitting back, so you, you have to be sitting back looking to catch something so that you can make something happen. I just don't see that happening for Mateus right now. He's not making any of those big decisions that can help get him back to guard or help him get to stand up right now. And Ooh. really, we're just in wait. Mateus did a, a good job there rolling over, but Dan kept back control. Mateus should be standing up now, standing up and then hand fighting and turning towards him. That's an excellent job by Mateus. Now I'd like to see Mateus break the grip. Oh, maybe he's going to get a takedown of his own. Oh, he had a thought about it. Now he's got to watch that front headlock position. Mm. Ooh. Very good cradle takedown there from Dan Burr. He's able to control the neck. I think we've seen uh, some fairly good wrestling from Dan Burr during this fight. Some good control. He but looks more like a wrestler than a uh, traditional kind of jiu-jitsu fighter. Even on the floor, kind of pressure side control. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure here. And he's looking to... to try to oh, uh, amazing sit out from Mateus, but then he just sat there. I felt like he could have stood up off that. That he technique was beautiful. He needed to control that, that uh, overhook there so he could end up coming on top of Danber. But he did sit out well. He just needed to stand right back up and he's eating some shots here. Just a slightly more explosive sit out. Well, another, another round to Dan Burr, but not, so, uh, not as uh, decisive as the first round, but yeah. I think he dominated that round. Now, Mateus. He's got to come out for this third round. He's got to be trying to win. I want to see some submission attempts or throwing some bombs. You know, I talked at the start of this fight about Dan Burr having a bit more muscle on him and that tiring him out. So this should be Mateus' moment. Yeah, this is the time where all the adrenaline starts dropping. And like we said, in that second round, Mateus j did get off a little bit of his striking technique there, but he really needs to be moving off on the angle after his combination so that Dan Burr cannot chase him and cannot take him down. Which has been, here we go. Yep, big hug. <laughs> I'm almost forgot, I almost forgot they're trying to knock each other out. 
Mateus came out with a head kick, really looking There we go, big right hands there from Dan Burr, which leads into the single leg. Can he pick it? Oh, Mateus trying to look for maybe a roll there, but wasn't very effective. He ends up in a bomb side side control again. Mateus is a he's a fairly big guy. He threw that head kick really, really well. It's a but now we're back to this familiar position during this fight where Mateus just can't deal with the pressure from the top of uh, Dan Burr. I saw him turning away there from Dan Burr's knees. They've, pop, they've, they've definitely hurt his solar plexus, his side ribs there. And it's going to be really t really telling if he can get back up and start making this more of his own fight. Dan Burr has been just smothering him for the last three rounds. And that could be that's just a world of hurt. I'd like to see Dan's looking for some arm locks, shoulder locks, and uh, maybe even just set it up a little bit more. He's just giving it away at the millimeter, but he's landing some big ground and pound there. He went from body, body, head. You see Mateus grimacing there. The yeah. pain is definitely getting through to him. Dan's mixing him up, going to the head a little bit here and going really hard to the body. Mateus has been doing well to survive, but uh, there's a good argument that this is uh, three 10 8 rounds. Let's see if Mateus can do something. I'd really like to see Mateus just throwing up some submissions, just desperately working, trying to get back to guard so he can try and get something going. Because at the moment, he's losing this fight. That all starts out with the frame that he should be making with his forearms here. And this has really hurt his body here. He's not taking those shots very lightly. I reckon if Dan Burr lands a few more knees, he could finish this fight. I think maybe Mateus is in a survival mode at the moment. Not wanting to waste too much energy, but he's gone for it. He's gone and trying to escape. Come on, Mateus. We want to see you do something in the last minute of this round. Dan Burr keeping a good head position there as he looks to get maybe lock the hands and go into a cradle technique there from the headlock. There's really a lot of wrestling going on. It's very, some really good control from Dan Burr. And I said at the start he might get tired, but. Mateus I was protesting to the referee there about some, maybe some gripping of the shorts there from Dan Burr, but the referee said carry on. I apologize, Dan Burr. You are very fit. <laughs> really great cardio. Just pressure, pressure, pressure. And this more wrestling position again. Moving well. This pressure is very, very good. It's, it's that Dan Burr has made Mateus carry his weight this entire time. And even if they stood up now, I would, uh, you'd, you'd see a much depleted Mateus. Very, s probably slower a lot with all the blood build up in the shoulders and legs. Oh, Mateus doing my come on. Last 10 seconds, Mateus. We want to see you. Oh, he's done everything. He can't get to his feet. He's using his last bit of energy. Going in. Uh, oh, got the roll. Oh, dear. Where was that? It seemed that Mateus heard the klaxon for the last 10 seconds and then put the effort in. And like a minute earlier, we would have liked to have seen that kind of athleticism. The whole fight, he seemed to be trying to pace himself. But excellent composure from Mateus the whole yep. time, able to maybe land that, and he still comes up with a smile on his face, knowing that he probably doesn't get the nod for those efforts. But it was it was Dan Burr's night, that's for sure. He was able to to make Mateus fight in just that small sliver of wrestling from double to side control, and make him stand up and expend incredible amounts of energy doing that. You're an experienced wrestler. How is it trying to escape that cradle? Is it Looks like such strong control. Impossible. 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 As soon as they, well, Dan Burr was not locking up his hands, but he did have really good head position, so it was difficult for Mateus to turn into him or do anything other than than roll to give up side control again. If Dan Burr would have locked his hands, there's no way Mateus is going anywhere. That cradle position is just brutal. Well, I feel like Dan Burr was leaving space when he was in that traditional side control, and uh, Mateus, if he'd been able to get onto the side, might have been able to sneak a knee through and recover some half guard or maybe full guard. Bases there and then s shrimp out and, sh and, sorry, shrimp out and swivel your, your knee back through to get to get back to the guard. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for these two fighters. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Here we go to the judges' decisions. So after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. And your winner, by unanimous decision, from the red corner, Dan Burr. And please make some noise for your runner up, Mateus. Dan, come out with a picture of everybody. Tough fight. Yeah, very tired, grappling exchange, lots of ground and pound. 
Okay, you won the rest in the background, so that was more your spot style of fight. Yeah, hit out the work, work out the pound, grind him out. So, five went to the game plan Yeah, that's the first time So, the first fight I should give you a win. Excellent work, guys. Every minister was against our winner, Dan.